And as the party continues to fight their way throughout the hostile underdark, what they don't see unfold is the events in Duskview. The Grand Plaza on the Duskview Keep has a large crowd gathered. Thousands of citizens have come together in anticipation for the royal announcement. Tensions have run high recently and the people are anxious. The crowds mutter whilst awaiting the Queen's arrival. It doesn't take long until the crowd's cacophony is broken into silence as one of the Duskview city guards bellows over the plaza. Citizens of Duskview, Her Royal Highness Queen Arneda Nzisi. Loyal citizens of Duskview. Standing on a high balcony overlooking a crowded plaza on the Duskview keep, Nzisi's voice echoes powerfully, carried by both magic and the natural acoustics of the city. The citizens below, fearful and uncertain, look up to their ruler for assurance. The time has come to address the shadow that has loomed over our great city. For too long, a band of reckless malefactors, vagrants, thieves and murderers, has plagued our streets, spreading chaos and fear in their wake. You know their names, their faces, and their despicable acts. Darsus of the Hells, a monster among men, a traitor who dared to rise against the very order that grants this city its prosperity, attempting to spill blood in a senseless attack upon the council. Stitch Archeon of Duskview, who betrayed his own city by breaking into the city's prison, murdering our brave guards and claiming it as a den for their lawless activities. Toby the Lost, a wanderer without conscience, torching the bakery that selflessly fed the hungry. An act of pure malevolence. Flax Nackerbottom of the Wilds, whose name has become synonymous with brutality, leading raids on our beautiful museum and laying waste to the cultural treasures that bind us to our past. And Gil Flintfall of Eskander, who not only defiled the bodies of the dead in our mortuary, but threatened the life of the very mortician who serves this city with dignity and respect. These fiends together sought to unravel the very fabric of Duskview, blowing up a tax courier and stealing gold meant for the welfare of this city. They defiled the sanctity of ownership, forging deeds to mansions they had no right to claim. They have been the very embodiment of darkness, and their crimes cannot and will not be tolerated. In Zizi pauses, letting the gravity of her word sink into the crowd before continuing with renewed intensity. But rest assured, my loyal subjects, justice has been served. The scourge that threatened our home has been captured. They have been dealt with in the manner befitting those who would bring ruin to our great city. Their days of terror are over. The streets of Duskview will no longer echo with their malevolence. The bastion we have built will stand strong against those who seek to undermine it. Know this, as your queen, I will protect Duskview with every measure at my disposal. I will not allow anyone, no matter how powerful or cunning, to bring harm to our city or its people. Let this be a reminder to all who would dare follow in their footsteps. There is no place for anarchy in Duskview. Order, Order, prosperity, prosperity. and the will of our people shall prevail. Inzizi raises her hands, palms up, as if to lift the spirits of the crowd. People of Duskview, rejoice, for the city is safe once more. We are a beacon of strength, resilience, and unity. Together, we will march forward into a future free from the tyranny of chaos under the banner of our enduring queen. Inzizi lowers her hands, her expression one of composed authority. Go now with the knowledge that Duskview remains strong under vigilant watch and ever under the protection of your queen. 